how to change a throttle body gasket on a 97 to 2004 F-150. Gotta loosen up this clamp here. This clamp over here. You gotta pull this thing out. Take out this hose. And inspect the hoses, make sure they're not dry rotted or any holes. Remove this hose here. Pop this off. I'm trying to figure out where the vacuum leak is in this thing. I can hear it somewhere up in here, but I don't see anything wrong. And all these hoses are tight. This hose I just changed, but I can still hear it. That hose back there, I changed before, and it's still tight. So I don't know where the leak is at. Disconnect the sensor here as well, so you can take this whole thing out of here. Get it out of the way. Turn this thing over. See if you see any holes. Have to take the throttle cable off. Turn this. Turn it, hold it like this. Pop this out. You can release it. I'm gonna have to remove the spring too to better take the whole actually no I think we can leave the spring. <laughs> have to disconnect the throttle position sensor. That wasn't good. Damn connector just broke apart. It's all dry rotted. Not the end of the world, they'll just have to glue it back in. Gotta remove these four bolts that hold the throttle piece on. Need a 516 socket for this. Watch out for the connector. Watch out for the connector over here on the idle air control valve. I'm not sure, but since I'm hearing the vacuum in this area, I'm suspecting the gasket here could be bad. And the gasket was only like four bucks, so it's worth trying it. Actually, I was talking about cleaning the throttle body. It says there's a warning here, do not clean inside throttle body or adjust hand stop screw. Special coating on throttle plate and bore. So we're going to leave it alone. So I don't see a part number. Just go to the auto just go to like AutoZone and tell them you got a whatever your make and model is and you need a throttle body gasket. 
and they'll give that to you. There's another gasket down here. I don't think I need to change that. Use some 2000 sandpaper to clean off the matting surfaces. Make sure the gasket lines up. Just double check to make sure they give us the right one. I'm going to put the top two bolts into the throttle body. And then put the gasket on it, turn it around and carefully install it back where it goes on the rest of the throttle body. This gasket's pretty thin. Just get the bolts to where the head touches for now. Hand tight for now, right there. Do the other one, then do the other two. When you're done with this, you have to reset the computer. Just have to disconnect the battery terminal for a few minutes, reconnect it, start the engine, run it for five minutes, let it idle for five minutes with the AC off. Then you can let it idle with the AC on for five minutes if you want. Then after that, you can shut it off and wait until you drive it again, or you can go and drive it around if you have to go somewhere and then over time the computer will relearn everything and hopefully if this fixed the vacuum leak then the computer will correct itself and stop wasting so much fuel because of the vacuum leak because the O2 sensors in the exhaust tell the computer there's more air or there's more gases coming out than were sucked into the engine so the computer then tries to balance it, and it's always wrong, and it ends up using too much fuel. So fuel mileage is really bad on this truck right now. Hopefully this is where the leak is at. If it's not here, then I don't know where it is. Unless it's the intake manifold gasket, but I've changed that before. You get them all hand tight, then you're going to start tightening them incrementally because it's a gasket and it's cast aluminum so you don't want to tighten it too much because you'll strip it. It's going to get these a little more tighter than they are. I'll start with this one. Turn it a little bit and I'll go down here. Turn that a little bit. Then uh, I guess I'll do this one. And this one, this one again, and this one, this one, and this one, this one, this 
that one, this one, that one, this one, and that one, this one, that one. And that should be snug enough. They're pretty snug now. See the gasket clearing a little bit. Not sure if the old gasket actually failed. You can see some of that oil smeared on it. It could have got through. This gasket's pretty stiff. It feels like it's plastic. The one I bought, I think, is a... Uh, I don't know what it's made out of, some kind of paper. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Now we gotta put the air intake back together. Let's reconnect the sensors, reset the computer, and then that's it, you're done. You have to reattach throttle cable, and this spring popped off. So this has got to go back. There's a hole over here where the spring goes in. You have to pull it a little bit to get it in the hole. You got to turn this again. Put the cable over it and turn it like this. Throttle cables back in. Gonna have to glue that in because it broke because it's so old. Plug this hose in. Hopefully you can see that, what I'm doing. I'll do that later, off camera. Some glue, don't really need to show you guys that. Put this thing back in, this hose goes in here. Actually, I have to leave that open so I can get the glue in there. That's just to show you. Then over here, reattach the sensor. Tighten up that clamp and tighten up the clamp up here. That's it, you're done. Hopefully that'll fix your problem. Or if you're just changing the gasket, now you know how to do it. If you're still here, I've decided to do a little giveaway because I know we're all having a hard time right now dealing with the situation that we're in with this uh, stupid virus. So I've decided to give away this Husky 25 piece mechanics tool set. It's just been sitting around here. I don't really need it. So maybe somebody else can use it. it. Has all these pieces in here. I've only used it a few times just to make sure everything works before I give it away. So this is what you'll get. And as a little bonus. I signed the back for you, so whoever gets this, you'll have a hand signed tool set from my channel. This video will post on a Tuesday, and that following Friday will be the last day of the contest. So make sure you listen carefully, post a comment, the first person to post a comment I will respond to the comment with my email. Then I need you to email me and use the word in your email Husky 25 piece mechanics tool set. 
so I know it's not some random spammer that sees my email in the comments and I'm only gonna leave my email in the comments until Friday of the week that this video posts and then I'm going to delete that comment and then also in the email obviously I'm gonna need to know where to send this to don't worry about shipping everything's included all you have to do is just tell me where to send it if you're the winner and that's it for the video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell if you have any suggestions for a future video leave a comment